Good morning. We are morning walking again. And it is another super hot day. There's some sand on this path that we walk on and it's so bright, it's making me squint. I always forget to wear my sunglasses. I actually don't like wearing sunglasses. Sasha is too hot to talk. <laughs> she decided that she doesn't want to vlog anymore. She's going to make me do it. <laughs> what about you, Eden? How about you take over? Yeah, I'm just looking at the road for some reason. We're cutting Eden's morning walk short because it's obscenely uncomfortable. This is yesterday's burning site. It still smells like ash. Looks like they've set up another one to burn here too. And another one as well. I dread to think what on earth is in this green swamp. Cooling down the living room, but there is no air conditioner in the kitchen, so I'm just gonna have to power through at breakfast time. Today's plan is quite simple, pizza. Now, I say that because when we were in Bangkok, we found the best pizza in Thailand. It was at a place called Pepina, and it was absolutely amazing. And I think that there has to be somewhere of decent standard in Hua Hin as well. So we're gonna go out for lunch, I hope, and see if we can find a really good pizza to eat. I have to do a bit of research to find out where to go. You may have noticed that we've had quite a lot of home days recently. And that's because we basically spent so much money on Eden and on rent recently and on everything that we're a bit short of cash. So we've been trying to save. I think I've mentioned this already, but the problem is when you're doing daily videos is that you wake up in the morning and think, oh, what should I do today? And then you think, oh, hang on a minute. What can I do that doesn't cost anything? <laughs> and honestly, in Hua Hin, I think there's less to do for nothing than there is up north. So the plan is to go out, find a nice little pizza and share it. Let's see how Sasha's pancake making is going. I thought Sasha was making banana pancakes, but instead she's just having the mulberry jam we bought yesterday. Back on the Chiang Rai farm, we used to make these really tasty pancakes that were completely flourless. They were made entirely out of banana and an egg, I think, but no flour. And Sasha was gonna make them this morning, but decided against it. Perhaps tomorrow, eh? Perhaps. Perhaps. All right, let me begin my hunt for Hua Hin's best pizza. All right, the biggest result to turn up is Pizza Casamia. Let's read into this. The thing that made the Bangkok pizzeria so nice is that it was Thailand's only Neapolitan pizzeria, as far as we know. And if anybody doesn't know what a Neapolitan pizzeria is, it's basically when the pizzas look a little bit like that. You can't even call yourself a Neapolitan pizzeria unless you meet certain standards from Naples and Italy. You have to get certain tomatoes imported in, certain cheeses. It's all very foody. So most people that are into American style or British style pizzas probably don't even like this kind of pizza, but we love it. So I'm going to see if Hu Hin has a Neapolitan pizzeria. I know you might be thinking, why on earth are you searching for a Neapolitan style pizzeria in Thailand? But it's just one of those things. Pizza is loved all around the world. And if there's somebody somewhere in this town that's doing that type, then I've got a craving for it. And I want to see if they've got it here. All right, so it turns out that Hua Hin does not have any authentic Neapolitan pizzerias. There are only ones in Bangkok and Pattaya, but there is one particular place that stands out called Andrea's Italian Grill and Restaurant, but it's only open at dinner time. It doesn't quite fit into my plan. I wanted to do it at lunchtime. All the other pizzerias I've seen, I've looked at the pictures and they do not look like the right kind of dough, the right kind of base. So, not sure. Might push back the plan and perhaps go there at dinner time. I don't know, I'll have to ask Sash, see what she thinks. What do you think, Sash? Do you fancy a pizza like that for dinner? Right there. Six o'clock. I'm actually really looking forward to eating a decent pizza. I think it's quite funny when you publish your life on YouTube, people will say things like, oh, you're in Thailand, why aren't you just eating Thai food and la la la. And it makes us think, we were talking about it the other day, even when we were in England, we didn't just eat English food, we have so many different varieties of stuff available to us. We've always eaten international foods. 
everywhere we go. So every now and again we fancy a steak, or we fancy a burger, or we fancy some pizza. So that's why we do it on YouTube and on Instagram and stuff like that. People are always going to say that the things that you're doing are wrong, telling you how and how not to eat, what you should and shouldn't do, should and shouldn't say. And it's something that we have to get used to. Saying that though, I just got a really nice message from a subscriber who says, I travelled to Thailand and always wanted to return, but if I never do, you guys have done it for me. You've made it feel real like none I've ever seen do before. I do hope that you travel to many more countries because you're the best I've seen and now I'm addicted to your programme the way I used to be addicted to Sherlock Holmes. So please carry on from an old American traveller. And I thought that was really nice because in this time of transition for us, it's very difficult to keep our minds straight and just do the things that we think are right for us. Some people expect us to change the content we create to make Thailand look and feel how they want it to feel and how they remember it to be. But it's good to know that there are people out there that are watching this channel and appreciate seeing Thailand through our eyes, you know, the way we've seen it, the way we live it right now, every day in reality. It's not something that we're faking. These are the things that people do some people do anyway when they live out here so I'm glad to know that there are some people that are watching and appreciating it just for who we are so thanks for sending that comment it does mean a lot a sufficient amount of time has passed you ready to eat the best pizza in Hua Hin supposedly? great today a bit headachey and <laughs> so just drinking lots of water and sitting quietly seems to have done the trick and I'm feeling a lot better now it feels like we haven't been out for dinner properly for ages and um, apart from Koh Panyang but that's different because we were away in hotels and stuff but I think the last time was probably my birthday yeah, Marrakesh, Marrakesh restaurant yeah and that was like six weeks ago so dinner time <laughs> When I was making dinner last night, after I ended the vlog, the gas ran out on the little cooker and I changed the canister and then turned it on again and went to light it and as I lit the lighter, there was a fire. I managed to create a fireball in the kitchen, which was a bit scary. <laughs> Jay saw the flame from inside the living room and came running out but I had the camera on the kitchen top still, so the little furry muffs <laughs> that are on the speakers on top of the camera, <laughs> they're like half the size and they got all singed. So it's quite funny to look at the camera now because we've got these little like melted muffs. <laughs> A permanent reminder <laughs> to not leave the gas on before you light it. We have already had a bid for the car of 60,000 baht so if you are interested get your bids in and send them via email to 8 miles from home at gmail.com for them to be counted make sure you make the subject escort auction by the way so i can put them all in a folder and collate it at the end if you are interested in buying our little car hope you say hi again yeah <laughs> uh, i've just met some subscribers <laughs> very nice to meet you guys what's your name again dawn yeah jake Jake and Dawn. <laughs> they chased us down to say hello. <laughs> and now they're in the videos. There, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. They were saying that they have been watching us today and they've been following us for ages and they were watching our videos today. Not saying... following us in the car for ages. <laughs> <laughs> no, not following us in the car, but following us on YouTube. And they were saying earlier today, isn't it funny we've never run into them around town and then they see us. So that is quite strange. <laughs> yeah, that is okay, we have arrived at the restaurant. Looking forward to it. I'm quite hungry now. And the main restaurant only opens at six and it is five past six. So we're not keen at all. <laughs> Arriving at the restaurant, we saw that it 
was actually one of Thailand's best restaurants from 2015. We climbed the stairs up to the rooftop terrace because we thought that would be the nicest place to sit and have our dinner. We arrived with plenty of time before the sun set so we were able to get some nice light out on the roof. And we could be up there while the sun went down. We were both really impressed with the setting and the lighting and the music. It all came together really well and the menu was very nice. They had lots of other Italian treats on the menu as well as the pizza. But because we'd been talking about pizza all day, we couldn't order anything else. We were given complimentary bread and breadsticks, which we enjoyed while we waited for our pizza. It is really nice to be outside and in an alfresco setting, because that's something we don't get at home. And the pizzas have arrived. I went for margarita and Jay went for a spicy salami, but we just swapped a slice. There's Jay's one. Verdict? The crust is very good, very good. Sauce is nice, everything's really nice, but it's not as good as pepino. Yes, it is very tasty and it is definitely fulfilling our pizza cravings that we've been having all day but it does have a lot to live up to after that Bangkok pizza. If anybody's looking for a Neapolitan style pizza, this is what the crust needs to look like. A restaurant can't claim to be Neapolitan pizzeria unless they use special tomatoes and special cheese. So this place doesn't claim that, but they have kept to a style and I quite like it. I haven't eaten that many pizzerias in Hu Hin, but this has got to be one of the top ones. How's the olive oil? Amazing. Yeah? Sasha likes to dip her crusts in olive oil. <laughs> it's a good way to do it. I ordered myself a sparkling water and ended up getting a 750ml bottle of San Pellegrino. <laughs> so I've got a lot of water to drink. But we also got some complimentary bread, which is very nice. I'll be using that with some oil later. It's a nice restaurant. I definitely, definitely like it. It's got an outdoor bit, it's got an indoor bit with AC. And they've even got a cafe downstairs called Sand Cafe. So if you come here before six and it's not open, get yourself a decent coffee. Billy espresso beans. Hmm. Have to come here in a day and try out their burgers. Also, Neapolitan style pizzas are a little bit smaller than what the US and the UK are used to. So you can order one each and be satisfied with that. This is quite a new restaurant. It's opposite the Intercontinental Hotel. And literally right next door is the Blue Port Mall that they're building, which isn't quite finished yet. So when that opens, this place will be right next to it. All right, camera down. I need to enjoy my pizza in peace. Both finished our pizzas and we've eaten all the complimentary bread because it was so delicious. The olive oil is absolutely amazing. When you pour it on the bread, it was like bright green and the vinegar was delicious. So we had to finish all the bread. <laughs> How was your experience here so far? Very nice. Was Good luck now. Was it worth it? Did you come back for pizza again? Nice. I would too. It's a very nice setting and I would say it's the best pizza I've had in Huahin. Delicious. I had to share my San Pellegrino with Sasha because there was a bit too much water there for me to drink. <laughs> We're not going to get any dessert today although the menu was very tempting. There were some amazing dark chocolate looking fondants on there and I would love to try it, but I'm going to save it for another day. Just got the bill. 921 baht with taxes. Not bad. This Andreas restaurant also specialises in one metre pizzas and Per meter, <laughs> you get a litre of Chang beer. <laughs> I'm not sure if I could face ordering more than a metre of pizza, but I guess if you had a big old party, 
it would be quite good. Yeah. So yeah, you can do that there as well. The restaurant is also part of the grounds of this nice hotel behind me called the Lapa. Looks quite nice. This is the construction site of the Blueport Mall, which looks far away from being finished. I do not think this is going to be completed by the time we leave Hua Hin though. We're going to miss out. All right, well that was a nice pizza experience. We are heading home now, see if Eden's eaten her tuna, which I'm pretty sure she will not have done. <laughs> we are full up. <laughs> My belt is a little bit tighter. <laughs> it's all that damn bread. I swear, if they didn't have the olive oil there, I wouldn't have eaten so much bread, but, <sighs> you know, bread issues. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna end, end the vlog here. And we're just gonna drive home now. So I hope you liked today. Hit the thumbs up button if you did and please do subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and we will see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> Cute end shot of Eden eating tuna. <laughs> Eden, why is there a full bowl of tuna? Hmm? What? That's it, eat it. Eden! Show yourself. Where are you going? Hmm? Eat your face. Yuck. I don't want it.